Welcome to the Cloud SME Portal Tutorial. In this tutorial we will explain how to create and run a parameter sweep workflow on the Cloud Broker platform by using a pre-registered software. First we will create the graph of our workflow. Click the workflow menu point and select the graph tab. We are going to use the graph we made for the third tutorial. The edit button enables us to edit graphs we made before. Make sure you have the required Java applications. Connect the output port of the generator job with the remaining input port of the parameter sweep job. And also delete the output port of the collector job. Save the new graph by clicking on the graph menu and then on the Save As button. In the next step we will create the concrete workflow, from the previously created graph. Select Workflow, Create Concrete, from the menu. Select your saved graph name from the graph list. Add a name for your new workflow. Click OK. Now, that you have the concrete workflow, you need to configure it. Select Workflow, Concrete. Go to the row of your workflow and click on Configure. Click on the icon of the job named Gen. The configuration window will appear. Select binary icon. Type, Cloud Broker. Name, Cloud SME Prototype. Software, Arithmetic Operations 1.0. Executable code of binary, Arithmetic Operations 1.0 Generin number sh. It generates in numbers. Resource, Open Nebula MTAs is Taki. Region. MTAs is Taki LPDS. Instance type, Open Nebula MTAs is Taki M1.small. Argument string, 3. This means that this job will generate 3 files with 3 numbers. Assign breakpoint, no breakpoint. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. In the Job IO tab, set the following properties Output ports internal file name, Jenner. Storage type, permanent. Generator, yes, this property directly sets the role of this job. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. Click on the icon of the PS job. The configuration window will appear. Select binary icon. Type, Cloud Broker. Name, Cloud SME Prototype. Software, Arithmetic Operations 1.0. Executable code of binary, arithmetic operations 1.0 arnu.sh, a simple arithmetic application. Resource, Open Nebula MTAs is Taki. Region, MTAs is Taki LPDS. Instance type, Open Nebula MTAs is Taki M1.small. Argument string, M, multiplication. Assign breakpoint. No breakpoint. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. In the Job IO tab, set the following properties. Select port 0. Input port's internal file name, input 1. Select port 1. Input port's internal file name, input 2. Select port 2. Output port's internal file name, output. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. Click on the icon of the call job. The configuration window will appear. In the Job Executable tab, set the following properties. Select Binary Icon. Type, Cloud Broker. Name, Cloud SME Prototype. Software, Arithmetic Operations 1.0. Executable Code of Binary. Arithmetic Operations 1.0 Collect Numbers.sh Resource, 
Open Nebula MTAs is Taki. Region MTAs is Taki LPDS. Instance Type Open Nebula MTAs is Taki M1.small. Argument String Input Assign Breakpoint No Breakpoint. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. In the Job IO tab, set the following properties select port 0. Input port's internal file name, input. Check the parametric input details by clicking on the view button. Set the weighting property to all, this setting indicates the collector type. Save the settings by clicking on the big green button at the bottom of the page. Save the entire configuration by clicking on the floppy icon on the top of the concrete window. Now we are going to submit the workflow. In the workflow, concrete window, click on the submit button of your workflows row. The workflows can be submitted several times. To check the submissions of a specific workflow click on the details button. To check the state of one specific workflow click on the adjacent details button. The running of this workflow could take several minutes. Click on the refresh button to check its state. The final result of the workflow execution can be reached by clicking on the view finished button in the row of the call job. Click on STD output in the job status window to get the result. Click on the download file output button to download the entire output in zip format. You can unzip the downloaded files to see all outputs on your computer. Thank you for watching our tutorial.